when a capillary tube is dipped in a liquid, the liquid rises in the capillary tube due to the combined effect of surface tension, cohesive force and adhesive force. For the liquid to rise in the capillary tube, the adhesive force must be greater than the cohesive force. When liquid rises in the tube, it forms a concave meniscus at the surface. The surface tension is directed inward along the tangent to the surface of liquid against which the wall of tube provides a reaction which is directed outward. The horizontal component of surface tension that is T sin theta cancels out because of the existence of equal and opposite component on the left wall of the tube. So it is only the vertical component of surface tension that is T cos theta that holds the weight of liquid in the tube. Now let's proceed towards calculating the weight of liquid rose in the capillary tube. In the diagram, theta is the angle of contact. Let R be the internal radius of capillary tube. T is the surface tension. Capital R is the reaction provided by glass which is equal to the surface tension. H is the height of liquid column inside the capillary tube. Rho is the density of liquid and Z is acceleration due to gravity. Now we can calculate the volume of liquid in the corners of the meniscus shown by yellow highlight by subtracting the volume of hemisphere shown by red highlight from the volume of cylinder shown by green highlight. So the volume of liquid in the meniscus can be written as V1 is equal to pi r square r minus half of 4 by 3 pi r cube. This can be written as pi r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube. And solving this we get V1 is equal to 1 by 3 pi r cube. To find the total volume of the liquid raised inside the capillary tube, we have to add the volume of the liquid in the cylinder shown by the blue highlight. So we write the total volume of liquid in the capillary V is equal to pi r square h plus V1. Here pi r square h is the volume of the liquid in the blue highlight. And solving this we get V is equal to pi r square times h plus 1 by 3 r. Since we have already calculated the volume of liquid in the capillary tube, now we can calculate the mass as mass is equal to volume times density. Then we can calculate the weight of liquid as Weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. When liquid rises in the capillary tube and it stops at some level, it is at equilibrium. And in this state, the upward force must be equal to the downward force. The upward force is the vertical component of surface tension which is acting along the circumference of the capillary tube, whereas the downward force is the weight of liquid. The upward force is written as 2 pi r times t cos theta. Here, 2 pi r is the circumference of the capillary tube and t cos theta is the vertical component of surface tension. Solving this equation, we get the expression for surface tension as below. Now for a capillary tube with a very small diameter, the height of liquid raised is much greater than 1 by 3 r. So 1 by 3 r can be neglected compared to h. So neglecting 1 by 3 r, we get the expression for surface tension as below. Finally rearranging this, we get the expression for height of liquid in the capillary tube. Please like, share and subscribe and do comment if you want videos like this in your recommendation.